Hey folks, Ardwolf here. We have day two of Compass Expo, so I thought here at 7 in the morning, I thought I would walk around the game room and give you an idea of what's going on. Start in one corner here. We have uh, No Peace Without Honor. This is the new game in the No Peace Without Spain system series. Uh, this looks good. I picked it up yesterday or the day before. Um, over here, we have... Uh, beneath the Southern Cross, this is the highly anticipated uh, new take on Flat Top. Uh, this looks like it's come quite a long way since I last saw it a couple of years ago. Uh, looks super interesting. I haven't had the chance to talk to the designer yet. Over here we have one of multiple games of GMT's U.S. Civil War that's been going on. This seems to get played at every single convention that I've like ever been to, including Origins. Um, this is Two Minutes to Midnight from Plague Island Games. Um, this, uh, this person has pimped out their copy, but a lot of these fancy pieces actually come with the game. Uh, the production quality on this is really, really high. Over here, we have one of a couple of games that have been running of Empire of the Sun Classic, Pacific Mark Herman game. Over here we have, not every table is filled uh, at this hour, but this room is probably going to fill up later. This is Prelude Revolution. This is the proof copy. Um, this is going to be coming out from Compass, we think, in early 2023. I've played this. I did a designer interview from last year's Compass Expo, so check that out. This is terrific. I am very much anticipating this. Over here we have... Lawrence of Arabia, which is an old, what is that, 3W game? Yeah, 3W. Uh, looks interesting, interesting topically, too. This is Grand Army of the Republic. I don't know if uh, they're planning a re redo of this or what. Over here, we have, there's a big Bitter Woods tournament. So there's a bunch of tables with different editions of Bitter Woods on the table. This looks like it is in progress. Looks like they have uh, started and are relatively early in on it. We here in the middle of the room are eating a lot of space for the war global. So this is Europe, which is on, uh, we are on the summer of 1942 turn over here in Europe. And over here in the Pacific, they actually uh, are midway through uh, 1943. Uh, I like this game. I will probably do a video on it. That, and that is, in, in case I'm being unclear, that's the one that I've been playing. Um, over here we have a game of Enemy Action Kharkov. Um, they may have finished this and restarted already. Um, the play started on Wednesday night. It is now Friday morning. Uh, here we have another Bitter Woods. This is somebody who has blown up the map and pieces. These are probably one-inch pieces, if not a little bigger. Um, so uh, for those who really like Bitter Woods, this is your go-to destination. Um, here is an upcoming game. This is Antietam Bloody September 1862. This is a Paul Koenig design. Not sure how far along this is, uh, but certainly these counters, which look like they may be laser cut, um, look pretty nice. Uh, over here, we have another Bitter Woods on another blown up map, but not quite as big as the other one. Uh, this is pretty exciting. So over here, we have <clears throat> the new Compass edition of the Third World War, the Frank Chadwick Classic. That is a package I am very impressed with. And over on this table, the uh, developers have some supplemental material that they are working on. This is Manchurian Front. Um, looks very interesting, and I think they may have some other stuff for Third World War in the pipeline as well. I know they do. I just haven't seen any yet. Um, this looks kind of neat. This is a game called The Spanish Ulcer, the Peninsular War, 1808 to 1814. It is a point-to-point -point game. Clearly, we're dealing with prototype components here. Uh, looks like there's quite a lot going on. Looks also like it's a CDG, conventional CDG. This is the Gregory M. Smith HQ with 75 different prototypes that Greg has developed just yesterday. Uh, this is another thing that Greg has in the works. This is a game called Rebel Tide based on the Pacific Tide system uh, to do the American Civil War. And from talking to Greg, it looks like this is being quite re well received. Now over here, this is an interesting tidbit. I'm a little unclear as to exactly what's going on here, but these are the War in Europe maps. 
um, and it looks like they're doing World War I, but it doesn't look like they're using the original World War I kit for war in Europe. Um, it looks like they're developing something of their own using the war in Europe maps. So I'd be very curious to see uh, what these folks are working on. And uh, there's another room here, which I'll have to do in a separate video. There's actually two more rooms of games. Um, we saw a couple of things being... Oh, I'll just walk you through there. We saw a couple of games of A Most Fearful Sacrifice on tables last night. This room right here, which is not open because it's like 6.45 in the morning, is uh, the Compass Sales Room. Great prices on tons and tons of Compass stuff. There may be a little bit more traffic over here for the early risers. Apparently not. This is War for America. This is Gilbert Collins Games. Gilbert is here. I got to meet him. I actually bought a game off of him. We'll talk about that later. Here we have table number one of A Most Fearful Sacrifice, number two. And then this was A Most Fearful Sacrifice yesterday, but now it has turned into Napoleon's Wheel. So it looks like they, I believe they started setting this up quite late yesterday. And then there was another room. I'll also mention that the hotel has spent quite a lot of effort renovating since last year. Uh, this room was, was about half full yesterday, uh, but right now uh, everybody has cleared out. There was a Europe in Turmoil teaching session in here. Right now we have the classic Avalon Hill Battle of the Bulges, Bulge 65, I believe, um, and it is one of the Avalon Hill classics that I think hold up pretty well. So that has been the very early look at day two of Compass Expo, very early in the morning. That's why there's nobody in here yet. That's why I did it now. Um, so hopefully you have enjoyed this. Um, please do leave a comment, like the video. Thanks for watching.